Condensation Polymerization by kscience.com. Condensation polymerization is a chemical reaction where different monomers react to form a condensation polymer and a small molecule such as water or hydrogen chloride. These different colored circles represent the different monomers, which are small reactive molecules. They add together to form a condensation polymer, which is a large molecule made of different monomers. And we can see how a small molecule is formed, which is normally water or can also be hydrogen chloride. Whereas addition polymerization is when alkene monomers react together to form an addition polymer. These red circles represent how there are the same monomers and they react together to form a polymer, normally just one polymer. There are no other products. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. An example of making an ester is when ethanoic acid reacts with ethanol to form ethyl ethanoate and water. And these diagrams represent the displayed formulae of both ethanoic acid and ethanol. We can see how they react to form ethyl ethanoate and water. So here I'm drawing around the ester link or ester functional group. And we can see how the double bond between the carbon and oxygen atom comes from the double bond between the carbon and oxygen atom on the ethanoic acid. And the oxygen atom in the ester link or ester functional group is the oxygen atom found on the ethanol molecule. Using a different color, here I'm drawing around the water molecule to show how the OH from the ethanoic acid forms a covalent bond with the hydrogen atom on the ethanol to form a water molecule. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. And it's the water molecule formed, which is why we call this a condensation reaction, as water links to the word condensation. The displayed formula clearly shows how there is one functional group on each monomer. So only one ester link can form in the condensation polymer. Now, ethyl ethanoate is not a polyester as it is not a long chain. You need to know the definition of a polyester is a long chain containing many ester links. COO, many ester links and is made from the reaction between dicarboxylic acids and diols. These are monomers which have one functional group on each end of the monomer. Making a polyester involves reacting a dicarboxylic acid monomer with a diol monomer, reacting to form a polyester and water. For example, if ethane dioic reacts with ethane diol and then we write an n here and an n here to represent how there are many of these dicarboxylic acids and diol monomers they will react to form a polyester represented by this repeating unit and will react to form two molecules of water for every repeating unit of the polyester being formed in this repeating unit here i'm drawing around one ester link in the chain and here I'm drawing around another ester link in the chain. These are two ester links next to each other. It's important to understand this repeating unit shows only part of the polyester chain. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. A 
polyester can form because there is a functional group at the end of each monomer. So at the end of each monomer, an ester link forms, allowing a long polyester chain to be able to form. Now, this is the general equation to make a polyester, and you need to be able to understand what this means. So this is the dicarboxylic acid, and we know this because we can identify the two carboxylic acid functional groups at the end of the molecule. And we can clearly see this is the diol monomer, as there are two alcohol functional groups at each end of the monomer. You'll notice the dicarboxylic acid and the diol, and also the polyester, they have rectangles in the middle in between the functional groups. These rectangles represent the rest of the molecule, as this is the general equation to make a polyester using any dicarboxylic acid and any diol. And finally, the small n represents the number of each molecule. Now we can see there is a 2n next to the H2O. This means for every dicarboxylic acid and diol and one repeating unit of polyester formed, this means there are two water molecules formed. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.